this engine's more fuel efficient, I guess, so it might go okay. Oh, it's really taken off now. Look at that. So I probably just want it to barely go past. Let's cut back on the thrust and stop entirely now. And that should be a transfer orbit now. So let's start going. See what happens. With any luck, we will intercept the moon here. Can we go faster? Now, when I get to about here, I'm going to slow it down because I don't want a repeat of the last incident. Whoa, autosave or something happened there. Let's go to just like five times maybe or 50 times, whatever the hell it is. The fifth little mark is what I meant. All right, moving together. In fact, let's go see how that looks. Oh, there's Kerbin. Where'd the moon go? Where did the moon go? There it is. Looking good. Did we, like, beat the moon here? That's not good if we got here too early. Come on, pick me up, gravity. Oh, I think this is going to work. And I'm not over-eager with my warping. They're looking like they're going to come together here. May have a successful orbit path here. Come on. I don't want to warp any faster, but this is taking a long time. Come on. I don't know when the gravity is going to grab me. And it's hard to say. And then I have to figure out what I have to do to fix the orbit. Probably... I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Looks like we're going to get to it, though. It is so tempting to warp faster, but that's what got me into trouble last time. It's agonizing. But I just don't know exactly where the gravity is going to snap here. Oh god, it's got to be any minute. Come on, moon. <sighs> I'm not going to press it, because we're so close now. Really, it's got to happen, like, at some point here, hasn't it? Seems like we're getting pretty close. Now, there we go. Okay, let's slow down. So right now, are we still moving towards it? What direction am I moving? That is confusing. Because the path is all kinds of... I must still be moving towards it, I would assume. Which means I'm going to hit it, I think. How are we going to avoid hitting it? Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we're getting closer to it, so... Hmm. That is a good question, how to avoid colliding here. I am definitely not an expert here, so... According to this, I am heading towards it, but I don't actually see it. Oh, there it is. It was behind my little nav ball. So I think what I'm going to have to do, if I can turn this thing, what happens if I accelerate? I'm probably just going to hit it faster, right? No, that's widening that, which probably doesn't do me that much good, does it? So let's cut that. Um, well, this is a predicament. 
I did not expect this to happen. Now I've totally lost it again, haven't I? Where did it go? Oh well. I'm just gonna have to, you know, throw caution to the wind here and fire a rocket somewhere, because I mean it's gotta do something, right? What does this do to my path? That's making it a lot more narrow. So, what if I go the other direction? Lock it off, no! Okay, so that's throwing that all out. It looks like it's getting out of the moon. So, that's something. At least we won't collide now. And I just have to figure out how to fix the... I think what I do is I just break when I hit the, the periapsis then. And that ought to work. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's uh get a little bit closer here. And if I screw this up, we may end up being lost in space forever but these uh these guys knew the risks when they signed up for the space program and that is one of the risks is incompetent leadership stranding you in deep space that is probably the the most real and present danger to these guys is me let's start maneuvering so we're on a breaking the rocket turned around to the braking side here. Lock that off. How are we looking here? Oh, the moon is getting big. It is definitely getting pretty darn close to us now. It is nice looking out here, though. Gonna warp forward a little bit more. Judicious use of the warp. And I think we're getting pretty close to the point we want to break here. Let's try breaking now. Get this reoriented to be more efficient again. Let's just see what a little braking does here. I'm going to very lightly hit the engine. Yeah, that's bringing it in the line, so let's give it a little more. A lot more, maybe. So this is at 24. Oh, but we're losing altitude. Let's get a little closer again. Because <laughs> I don't want to burn off too much of that altitude. I might actually go a little past our periapsis here. I mean, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, so at least I don't have to worry about colliding with an atmosphere. But I don't want to have too low of an orbit. Because I think it's going to make landing harder. But we're not going to try to land today. This is this is a learning experience just for how to get into orbit of the moon. I'm not interested in pressing my luck today. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, damn it. Not well. Not well indeed. I wasted a lot of fuel being inefficient. We still have that other stage. I don't know if they're going to have enough fuel to return home, though. We're just going to have to hope for the best. stage is done now it keeps going there it goes so let's fire this one off here keep trying to break oh we're in orbit now that's good that's rapidly closing up I oh, wish I had plenty of fuel to get back then because we're not going to need a lot of fuel to break orbit here alright so this is at Periapsis is at 21,000. It's probably going to be about 20,000 by the time all is said and done. This is going to be a real, real low orbit. Let's give a little extra thrust here. 
just to bring this under control a little faster. Actually, I'm going to cut again and get closer so I don't keep dragging this part of my orbit down. Alright, firing again. Periapsis is looking pretty stable now. Given more cut the engines again for a second so I can fix this because we're all off kilter I just noticed wasting fuel with inefficient burns and look at that close up there and a little closer I want to get sort of a round orbit Oh god, that's getting real low now. Let's stop there. Good enough. Alright. Cool, we made it. And we still have a pretty decent amount of fuel to get home with, so... These guys are probably not going to get trapped in space, which is good. Do I, yeah, I have landing gear on this. I don't want to attempt to land today, though. We'll do that next time, because I need to 